I'm Robert Timmons and you're watching Weekly Words. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for checking out this week's episode of Weekly Words. I'm so happy that you are able to tune in and I'm really happy because this week we get to talk about one of my favorite movies which is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you haven't seen the movie, no fear, I'm not going to give away any spoilers. I'm just going to talk about some of the high level things that I got from the movie and also just the Spider-Man character in general. So for those of you that might not know, the original Spider-Man is Peter Parker and in Into the Spider-Verse his name is Miles Morales and both of these Spider-Men have something in common. Neither one of them chose to be bitten by the spider but whenever they noticed that they had these abilities that regular humans didn't have and they saw that their friends and their family and their city and the community were put in danger they chose to step up to the plate and become a hero. Now, watching the movie definitely just can be entertained, but when I sat and thought about that for a while, I was thinking, wow, that's like so dope and inspiring and encouraging. Neither one of them chose to be bitten, but they chose to be a hero. And I believe that us in our regular lives have that same choice to make in the way that we live out our lives and how we interact with the people around us and embrace the different opportunities and oppositions that life and God puts on our path. See, we might not have chosen our current circumstance or chosen the talent that we've gotten or, or chosen where we are in life or, or chosen who we're surrounded about or we're surrounded around, but we do have the choice in how we move in that. We can choose to become a leader. We can choose to become a teacher a mentor. We can choose to leave an impact both positive and negative. We have a choice in how we move with what we have been given or what has happened to us. And I think that is just extremely powerful and encouraging. What kind of impact do you want to leave with your life? Who do you want to guide? Who do you want to mentor? What choice do you want to make with what you've been ex or what you've experienced in life and how you've been bitten will you step into that place of becoming a hero for those around you who need to be encouraged who need to be uplifted who need someone to walk with to live with what choice are you making with your life and is it the one that you want to make so throughout the movie miles really didn't feel like he had what it took to be able to overcome the adversity which is introduced in the movie and step into the Spider-Man hero shoes, right? And of course, over time through the movie, he went through whatever journey and, and made his choice. But for us, I think that our takeaway from that is that even though we might not have wanted the situation to happen, we can still choose how it becomes or how it grows after the fact, right? And if you wanna to look to a bib biblical example, I think the perfect example is Paul. See, Paul, before he was Paul, he was Saul and he actually hated Jesus and hated Christians and he was killing Christians. In a moment though, whenever he was on his way to Damascus, God came in and completely transformed his heart, his mind, his posture, and Saul became Paul and he started living a life on fire for God and for Christ and he became a teacher a mentor and ultimately a disciple of Jesus and he went on to speak to a multitude of people about who Jesus is and, and the gospel and he wrote over half of the New Testament. See, Paul did not choose to be transformed or for God to work in his life, but once he was, he chose to do something with that. So I ask you guys a question today, how has God transformed your life, right? How has God bitten you 
And what are you doing with that? You have this talent, you have this experience, you have this idea, you have this mindset, this posture, you have these opportunities, you have these resources. What are you doing with them to be able to impact the people around you in order to become a hero, in order to save the day, in order to walk in purpose? What are you doing with what you have? And is it something that God wants for you to do? So wherever you are on the spectrum of feeling inadequate or thinking you are the dopest person alive, I ask you the question, what choices are you making in embracing what you've been given, the talents you've been given? Are you, are you honing it? Are you taking ownership of it? Are you growing it? Are you sharing it? Are you embracing it? What choices are you making? Right? I encourage everybody to take responsibility that comes with the great power that we've been given, the great talent that we've been given, the great opportunity that we've been given. We might not have chosen to be bitten, but we can choose to be a hero. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking out this week's episode of Weekly Words. I pray that you thoroughly enjoyed it and got something positive from it. If you have any questions or suggestions or things for me to speak on in the future, feel free to email me at weeklywordsrt at gmail.com. Again, that's weeklywordsrt at gmail.com. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you back here for our next episode.